Here I've got a really famous number puzzle for you guys. So we have the following fact to start off. 2 to the power 29 is a 9-digit number. And furthermore, each of these 9 digits is distinct. And then our question is, which digit is missing? So in other words, 2 to the 29 has 9 digits from the set 0 to 9. But that means one of those has to be missing because between 0 and 9, there are a total of 10 numbers. So in order to solve this, we're going to use some fairly standard tricks from number theory, but I want to review them real quick just so that we're all on the same page. So first off, we're going to use the notion of congruence modulo n. So let's recall that a is congruent to b mod n if and only if n divides a minus b. So for example, 8 is congruent to 3 mod 5. That's because 5 divides 8 minus 3. 8 minus 3 is 5. Okay, so the next is a divisibility test for um, multiples of 9, but this actually works with congruence modulo 9 as well. So A is congruent to the sum of the digits of A modulo 9. So often this is given as in A is a multiple of 9 if and only if the sum of the digits of A is also a multiple of 9. But instead of looking at the divisibility, we can look at the congruence mod 9. And that's actually a little bit more general. So for example, 5,912 is congruent to 8 mod 9. That's because 5 plus 9 plus 1 plus 2 is congruent to 8 mod 9. It's actually equal to 17, right? And 17 has a remainder of 8 when dividing by 9. Okay, then finally we're going to look at Euler's generalization to Fermat's little theorem. And that involves something called Euler's totient function. So let's recall that given a natural number n, phi evaluated at n, is the number of natural numbers between 1 and n that are relatively prime to n. Then Euler's theorem says a to the phi of n is congruent to 1 mod n if the GCD of a with n is equal to 1. Okay, so keeping these in mind, we'll look at a nice solution to this question. Okay, so we looked at some tools that will be helpful to answer this question. Now we're ready to solve this question. And we're going to work mod 9 because of that one tool involving congruence mod 9 between the digit sum and the number itself. But if we work mod 9, we probably want to look at Euler's theorem working mod 9. So in other words, we need the Euler totient function evaluated at 9. Well, let's recall that that's going to be the number of natural numbers between 1 and 9 that are relatively prime to 9. So we've got 1, 2, 3 is not relatively prime to 9 because it's a divisor of 9. And then we have 4, 5, we have to skip 6, we have 7 and 8. And so in total we have 6 numbers in that set, which means Euler's totient function evaluated at 9 is equal to 6. So if the GCD of a and 9 is equal to 1. We know a to the 6 is congruent to 1 modulo 9. So that follows from Euler's theorem. So in particular, we know that the number 2 is relatively prime to 9. So that means 2 to the 6 is congruent to 1 mod 9. Okay, so now where can we go from there? Because we don't have a sixth power, we have a 29th power. But no worries, we can use division with remainder between 6 and 29. So let's notice we have the following setup. We have 29 is equal to something times 6 plus a remainder. Well, what are we going to use here? Well, maybe 4 times 6, that's 24 plus a remainder of 5. So that means we can take 2 to the 29 and rewrite it as 2 to the 6 to the 4 times 2 to the 5. Okay, great. But now let's notice 2 to the 6 is 1 mod 9. 
and one to the four will be one mod nine. So this is gonna reduce to two to the five mod nine. But let's recall two to the five is 32. So we have this is 32 modulo nine. But let's go ahead and reduce that mod nine. Notice if we divide 32 by nine and keep the remainder, the closest we can get is 27. Well, that's gonna be a remainder of five. So we get this is congruent to five modulo nine. So just to reiterate what we've got so far, we've got two to the 29 is congruent to five mod nine. But then by our other tool, we know the sum of the digits. So I'll just put maybe DS for the digit sum of two to the 29 is also going to be congruent to five modulo nine. But now if we look over here at our problem, notice that we haven't used the fact that we have nine distinct digits. So let's do that. So notice that this digit sum will also be equal to zero plus one plus two plus three plus all the way up to plus eight plus nine minus whichever one's missing. So I'll call whichever one that's missing X. So let's just put that here. This is the missing digit. But now we can easily add the numbers one to nine and notice that they get they give us 45. But 45 is congruent to zero mod nine because it's a multiple of nine. So in the end, we have negative X is congruent to five mod nine. In other words, X is congruent to negative five mod nine, but negative five mod nine is the same thing as four modulo nine. That's because five plus four is nine, which is zero. But that gives us our missing digit is four, which is exactly the question we wanted to answer. And that's a good place to stop.